Welcome back to the world of physics. A very good day to all of you again. And today we are going to revise on Form 4 physics, especially just on light. And the subtopic is refractive index. Remember, refractive index is a very important concept in physics. It's very simple, but there are some tricks along the way. So you have to be very careful. Now just remember that as we study physics, always get it into your blood system that physics is easy. All right, never tell yourself that physics is difficult. Physics is actually like a piece of cake. Let me show you how. And in our lesson today, after the end of the program, you will definitely have learned these two things. Number one is that you would have made sure that you understood the definition of refractive index. You will be able to explain to another person what refractive index is. And number two, you would be able to solve a problem, a calculation problem involving refractive index. So that will be our objective for this morning. And once again, as you study physics, remember memory is not the correct method. The right method to study physics is to have good output revision, meaning that you answer questions, you answer past year questions especially, answer many questions involving the topic, and then you will become very good at it and you would understand it. Alright, let's go straight to the point. I will pick out a question that is given to you in a test, and from the question you will understand, you will know whether you understand or not this principle or this concept of refractive index. Diagram 15 shows the path of light traveling from air into liquid X. The question is, what is the refractive index of X? Now, before we even answer this question, we need to ask ourselves, what is the meaning of refractive index? This is the most important thing that we have to get it right first. What is refractive index? You said, oh, teacher, it's very easy. We have it in the formula, isn't it? All right, very good. Look at this. You know that n equals to sine i divided by sine r. Okay. And what is n, what is sine i, what is sine r? This is something that you have got to be very sure about. And I'm going to guide you to write down what is n, what is sine r, and sine i, and what is sine r. All right? Now, let us, let us draw together very quickly, very simply. All right? Now, let's say this is air. And let us say that this is the medium. It could be a solid. It could be a liquid. And let us say now I have a ray of light traveling from air into the medium. Okay. Now I can call this, I just label it as 40 degrees, and I can take this as 25 degrees. All right. So I can call this even medium Y. All right. Now let me take an example and explain to you the meaning of the terms refractive index. Now this is the example that we see on the screen. I'll just write down, all right, this is our example. Okay. Now, of course, it is easy to say, all right, teacher, N, which is a refractive index of Y, you say it is equal to sine I over sine R. All right, I will write it down first again. The refractive index of Y, medium Y, is equal to sine I divided by sine R. All right, sine R. Okay. Now, but we need to understand that there is one term and condition. What is the condition? The light ray must travel from air into the medium or from vacuum into the medium. In this case, air here is considered vacuum. All right. So, allow me to use a highlighter and explain that 
it must be from a into the medium. Then only we can say that I is this angle, the incident angle, and R is the refracted angle or angle of refraction. So it is good for us to write down. This is only true. This equation is only true. There is one condition. Please write it down. And once you write it down, you will do well. What is the condition? You must write down if and only if light travels. In this case, the light ray travels from air or vacuum into the medium. In this case, the medium is Y. Now, this statement here that I have written in red is very important. You must write it down in your book so that you will not forget. Afterwards, when I give you an example, you will understand why. Alright, so far so good? Okay, let us now go on to this example and uh, sine I over sine R. So, what is the... Now, sine I over sine R, we want to know the value, all right, of the, uh, the refractive index of Y. So, what is it? So, I will continue and write it down here, all right. Okay. What is sine I? Now, this is I. I put down here. This is I and this is R. I can write down I here and R there because it is the light ray is traveling from air into the medium. Ha, okay, so I have fulfilled the condition. So what is I? 40 degrees. So I write down sine 40 degrees. And what is sine R? Sine 25 degrees. All right. Use a calculator. Work out the answer. You will get a number one point something. All right, let us now, because our time is short, let us come back to our question. This is the question given to us just now. Question number 26. All right, diagram 15 shows the path of light traveling from air into liquid X. What is the refractive index of X? First question, is the light ray traveling from air into li the liquid X? Yes. So, which means that now when I write down refractive index of X equals to sine I over sine R, okay, it is traveling from air into the liquid. So, what is the angle? 30 degrees. Is it the incident angle or the refracted angle? Okay, this is the incident angle. This is the angle of refraction r okay so in this case what do i get sine i i will write down sine 30 degrees divided by sine r which is 20 degrees okay so you work this out use a calculator we will get an answer 1.46 all right 1.46 so this is our answer. It's very simple, isn't it? You say, yeah, okay, I understand. All right. To make sure that you understand this, now please let me give you question number 27. All right. Ah, be careful. Is this the same question? No. Similar? Yes. Now, in this question, the ray of light is traveling from a liquid Q to air. It is from Q to air. And the question is, calculate the refractive index of the liquid Q. Alright, so what is the formula that all of us were, are going to use now? I'm sure you will quickly jump out and say, yes, N equals to sine I over sine R. But what is the condition? Sine I over sine R is only true if and only if 
the ray of light travels from air into the medium. Right? Now, in this case, the ray of light, where is it traveling from? Liquid Q to air. So can I write this as I, incident angle, and put it into the formula? Some of you are shaking your heads. You say, no, we can't. Right? So, what do I have to do? The best thing to do in order not to be confused now is, if I want to write down N equals to sine I over sine R, what must I do to the direction? Okay? I would recommend that you do this. Because it works both ways. If the ray of light travels in this path, 20 degrees down here in liquid Q, and in air it is 30 degrees refracted, I can change this direction, all right? I can change this direction. I can change this direction. And the angle does not change. So that is the first step. You just change the direction. Now, after changing it, then only we write down the formula. The formula is N refractive index of Q equals to sine I over sine R. Okay, And which one is I? This is I. Because now it's from air into liquid Q. So I is the angle of incidence and 20 degrees is the refracted angle R. So I substitute, I put in the value, what is sine I? Sine I is sine 30 degrees. And what is sine R? Sine 20 degrees. And I get the same answer, 1.46. Okay. Now from Perlis to Sabah, this question, if it is given to our students, given to many students, many students will make a mistake by not taking note of the things that I have emphasized in today's lesson. Because many a student will write down, oh, refractive index of Q equals to sine 20 over sine 30. And that would be wrong. So you just take note of the things that I have emphasized today and you would have learned the two things that I mentioned. Alright? So what are the two things that I have mentioned today? Number one, you would understand the meaning of refractive index. And number two, you would be able to use it to calculate the refractive index in the given situation. Alright, so with that, I would like to say thank you very much for your attention and may God bless you.